On the show today, a look back at the 2014 Formula One Bahrain Grand Prix. We celebrate Valentino Rossi as he clocks 40. Hello and welcome to the only TV show on Nigerian TV focused on motorsports. I am Gerard Gogofituri Kusari and this is Finish Line. We look at the 2014 Formula One Bahrain Grand Prix. Yes, because that particular race was an exciting one. It was filled with so much action with the likes of um, Lewis Hamilton, Nico Rosberg, his teammate, uh, Kimi Raikkonen, Daniel Ricciardo, and all those big names in Formula One racing that were all in that race. It was highly interesting because it was a battle, a battle for who will be first second and third yes certainly who would be on the podium it was that battle that made the race such an exciting one that makes me want to give it to you today watch this Push. Rosberg makes his move around that right hander Hamilton now trying to fight back down the hill this is where Rosberg went off on the first lap this is where Hamilton on lap 19 regains the lead back again whoa brilliant driving and yes, we saw that exciting race. Um, Mercedes was first and second. That's Lewis Hamilton and teammate Nico Rosberg came first and second. And the winning spree didn't end there. It continued to the Chinese, the Spanish, the Monaco and the Australian Grand Prix. And that was courtesy Formula One. Now, um, moving on on the show, in 2019, Jonathan Ray that was last year, Jonathan Ray, in the World of Superbike, uh, World Superbike uh, Championship, got for the record shattering time his fifth title as a champion of the Superbike. Now, we look at the race. It was also an exciting race, fully and interesting. There was so much contest. And I want you to take note of the final race. And I also want you to take note of both Jonathan Ray and um, uh, Michael van der Mark as you watch this. Now relax and enjoy it. Broke clear and was now comfortable out front with over a second to his advantage. It'd be a historic win for Ray as he clinched the world SBK crown for a record shattering fifth occasion. That was Cotsy World SBK. Now moving on on the show still, we'll be looking next at Valentino Rossi. Actually a celebration of Valentino Rossi as he clocks 40. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. Now on to MotoGP. Valentino Rossi clocks 40 in this year. And we celebrate him with his top five moments. So sit back. Relax and enjoy the top five moments of Valentino Rossi. Valentino Rossi, the year 2000, took his first ever Premier Class victory on British soil. The 40-year-old Valentino Rossi is there again. Write him off at your peril. Thumbs up. Great job from Valentino. Of course, uh, that was um, Kotsi MotoGP. And of course... Valentino Rossi has every reason to be proud of his career. Who wouldn't be proud of such a career that was filled with, uh, that is filled with so much, so much excitement. Day after day, excitement after another. And of course, you saw the action that went on in all his five moments, the top five moments of his career. I mean, so much action from the moment one to moment five, so much, so much action. It was exciting. Um, uh, these were exciting moments. These were exciting times. You could see him happy at the end of each of these races. Of course, it's something to be happy about. Riding, riding is one of the most difficult sports. MotoGP, Superbike, one of the most difficult sports. 
And for someone to be doing so very well in his career, come on. That's something to be proud about. Of course, uh, we are proud of him as well, Valentino Rossi. Keep doing your good work. And on to the, on, uh, moving on on the show, we, we're looking at uh, Formula One this time around. And on this note, it's a bit of a sad one. As earlier in the month of April, we lost Sir Sterling Moss. Now, Sir Sterling Moss was like um, you have today uh, the likes of... Uh, Kimi Raikkonen and Daniel Ricciardo, but he was of Mercedes at the time. And uh, he, he was one of those legendary drivers at the time too. He was also a member of the British Empire and also an inductee of the International Motorsports Hall of Fame. Now, um, in 2015, he had an interaction with Lewis Hamilton. At this time, he was aged 86. And the interaction was such that uh, they had a drive at Monza, somewhere in Italy, you know, a circuit that uh, Sir Stanley Moss was always on. And the drive was, at the same time, in the 1950s uh, Formula One vehicle. You know, those vehicles that go like this when you're you know, driving them, they're a lot higher from the ground than today's uh, Formula One vehicles. Yes, those vehicles were always you know, like this. And then uh, when you compare them to today's uh, Formula One vehicles that are closer to the ground with over a thousand horsepower speed, I mean, you, you know, it's so much difference, you know. But those were the times, and uh, they used those Formula One vehicles. And that was the same kind of vehicle that Star Formula uh, Star Stanley Moss and Lewis Hamilton had to drive in during that interaction. And this is Cutsy BBC Sports. How is that, darling? Oh, it's absolutely staggering. I can't tell you. When I, when I go around there, I just think, I did that, I did that for real. Mm -hmm. I actually went around there for real. Terrible. Cutsy BBC Sports. Moving on on the show, still on Sir Stanley Moss. This time around, we'll be giving tributes to him on the show. And, uh, the tributes, we'll be looking at the tributes that were given to him also when he passed on. Sir Stanley Moss was a member of the Order of the British Empire and he was also an inductee of the International Motorsports Hall of Fame. Sir Stelium Moss was aged 91. God rest his soul. And that's it on this edition of Finish Line. Do follow me on social media, particularly Twitter, to continue the conversation. I am Jara Gogofeturi Kusare. And whatever you're up to on the roads, make sure to stay safe. So till next week, bye-bye. <laughs>